all this time Jamaican people they put up with bad behavior, clean up after people in these luxurious hotels and up till now they don't have a pension plan for those people that are actually working in the tourism industry for years and that's what we're going to be talking about a pension plan for people that's working in the tourism industry in Jamaica and it says tourism minister Edward Bartlett is promising that the long-awaited pension scheme for tourism workers is to come on, on stream in June Speaking on Monday, Bartlett said the final touches were being put in place for the launch of the scheme by mid-year. He said the tourism ministry has been sensitizing workers in the sectors over the last two years about the relevance and importance of the initiative. Bartlett had previously indicated that persons fund would attract the same kind of physical arrangement as other established pension funds that contributes would be tax free. He said the Tourism Enhancement Fund Act would be amended to allow for the injection of $1 billion into the person's fund. The need for the creation of pension scheme came amid concerns that tourism workers did not have access to a societal safety net after retirement. The scheme that was first proposed some four years ago is to benefit all categories of the tourism workers, including red cap ports, craft vendors, ground, trans ground transportation, and operation, and hotel workers. And big up to them, props to them for that one because a full time now, because my grand aunt, which, grew, which I lived with subsequently before I moved to the United States, worked in the tourism industry for about... 15 to 20 years and she has nothing to show for it um, all she has is great friends that she met working both in Jamaica and overseas and a great relationship with the specific hotel that she used to work for up to this day she still go and do cleaning housekeeping and stuff up to this day and she's a really older woman so she loved her job she liked everything that the tourism industry had to offer her but there also comes a disadvantage because she didn't get a pension and i know a lot of people um that's in her position especially where i'm from in the west western end of jamaica a lot of people work in the tourism industry because it it's stable you have a stable job a stable stable work environment but at the end of the day if you can't get a pension or, or retirement plan it makes no sense because when you get older who are going to provide for your essential needs um you can't work and most jobs won't hire you after you're kept, you are at a certain age in jamaica because they want a fresh new body but can run up steps and do 500 beds and all that so for this pension plan to be put in motion in Jamaica big props to them I hope it actually works out in favor for all the hotel workers and everybody in the tourism industry that have been busting their butt in that is industry for years and years that love their jobs that actually use this as a way to feed their family and be a productive successful Jamaican but this is also going to attract other people that just want to use this now. And this is where it gets tricky. Because certain people are now just going to go into the tourism industry and take advantage of this particular bill that they're about to sign. A lot of people in Jamaica are going to go into the tourism industry, stay in there, don't love what they're doing, don't any like they don't like it, they don't love it, they don't want to be there, but they're just there because they have a stable work environment, stable paycheck, and they get a retirement plan. And that is something that they're going to have to also look into because and that happens all over the world, not just in Jamaica, not just in the tourism industry. A lot of people get jobs because it's stable, it's consistent, and you get a retirement plan so you can feed yourself and your family and feed yourself when you get older. So 
that's another issue that they have to take into consideration when creating this pension plan so people don't misuse it or abuse it so comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story do you agree that all tourism workers need to have a pension plan or they need to have worked in the tourism industry for a certain amount of years before they get the approval for a pension plan or do you think that's anybody in the tourism industry just to get pension just because they're working in the tourism industry i don't think that anybody in the tourism industry should just get a pension just because they're working in the tourism industry i think that you need to be working in the tourism industry for a certain amount of years you put your work in you are a seasoned tourist um or tourism worker uh, so you have to have a love for it a passion for it so also that's just me though comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube for the latest news and reviews and i'm up out of here man deuces